So the six shot solo originated uh, with my father when we were at Millfield School training. Uh, it's not a complete labeling of all solo practice. We're gonna go into absolutely all the fundamentals and all the very kind of extreme sides of solo practice covering all areas. But with a six shot, it's a really nice way to label certain areas of the court, simplify it and really activate those areas when you're playing. Um, and it's a great session to kind of put into your head and, and put into practice as well. So Peter's gonna obviously demonstrate. We're gonna start with the, the forehand side. He's going to be looking to hit into an area of probably four, maybe three, depending. Could be two. I don't know. How good are you? Two floorboards. Two floorboards. Very confident. So two floorboards uh, for about five minutes on the forehand side. What he will then do is he'll change over to the backhand drop shots. Really, the really important point with that is that you're taking a warm ball and utilizing it for the short work, which is a lot more realistic for for match play and it gives you a better gauge of your own touch and feel okay so he'll move into that area of the court he'll then move over onto the forehand side after he's done his five minutes in the in the backhand uh, front corner for the forehand volley so forehand volleys you're going to be looking at mixing i presume some volley kind of lengths and, and continuous volleys and some short work so there's quite a lot to do in that five minutes on the volley side good variation yeah good variations and then he'll then move to the the backhand back corner to work on his drives again. Are you going to go two floorboards or one and a half? Probably one and a half on the back end. One and a half. He's a lot more confident on his backhand side, so he's going to be working at very fine margins, a very clean cut. And then from that area, he's going to go up to the, to the forehand drop shot and really look to work that again, using the warm ball from the drives to utilize the, that area of the court. After he's done the five minutes there, hopefully playing the best possible shots he can. He's got the advantage of being slightly lower to the ground naturally. If he makes a lot of errors, then he will be punished later for it. And then going on to the, the backhand volleys, again, Peter working short, long, and also continuous around the middle there. So you're feeling confident? Feeling good, ready to go. Excellent. Now we're gonna crack on and show you the six shot practice. We're gonna start with the forehand drives. Peter's gonna be working into his targeted area. So we're gonna start going now. He's not one to ease into it. So he's hitting very crisply to start with. Just working in that area of the court, hugely localized in the forehand back corner. So he'd be doing this for five minutes in total. I think that's looking pretty good, Peter. So after that, he's gonna come up now to the backhand front corner while the ball's still warmed. So the ball's nice and hot. It gives that realistic approach of what it would be like in a match. He's just working in this kind of area of the court for this basic practice. That's really nice. Again, you can hear the, the cutting of the ball. It's looking good. Giving himself plenty of room. Bit of variety, a little bit of variety there. Different angles he's taking the ball in from. That's awesome, Peter. So from there, he's gonna move on now to forehand volleys. Okay, so a mixture with the forehand volleys of some short work. Doing the continuous now. A few volley lengths, Peter, just to show. Again, you see it bouncing again into a similar area to what you would do on the forehand drives. Take it short as well. Beautiful, looking very, very smooth. He loves this practice. This is one of his favorites. Nice, very nice. Again, you've got the realistic scenario that the ball's nice and warm. This is really important because he's keeping it going with the volley lengths and then the drops, that's awesome. Okay, so after five minutes of doing that, we then move on to shot four, which will be the backhand drives. Backhand drives usually are a little bit more accurate because of the body position and the shoulders. I'd say he's still hitting with the same intensity here as he was on the forehand side power-wise, but it seems to me that this is a lot tighter to the sidewall. He's lifting the ball when he's under pressure, when it's tight, which is wonderful. That's what you really need to take into consideration. Lovely body position. That's great, Peter. So from this area, he's gonna now move up to the forehand drop shot. So shot five, the ball again, nice and warm. There we go. Really smart, this is lovely. He's working tight angles. He's working slightly wider angles. You can see this is actually quite active in its own right. There's a lot of movement involved. 
Beautiful, very, very good. Really wide angle, nice touch, closer to the front wall. And then there's a bit of hold, a bit of deception. This is great, last drop shot please. Brilliant, and then the final practice of the six shot solo is the backhand volley drops and the backhand drives. So he's into this area now. Just warming the ball up to start with for the first period, okay? Just to get it going, because it would have got cold from the drop shots. And then he'll start taking it short. And also the volley length. Bit tight there, but it's okay. Okay, that's good. Again, this is a very active practice, so, you know, it's, I talk about static solo, this is probably one of the more active versions, and he's not even actually doing any exercises in between, so you can imagine if he was doing ghosting in between these shots as well, how hard this would be. Brilliant, well done. Awesome, very, very good.